Hi, so yesterday I was going to send emails for a conference, invitations for speakers to come and present about their works. But the problem was that I was going to send 320 emails and all of them with the same text, just changing their name and their email address. In this video, you need Excel, you need Word and you need Outlook. First, you open Excel, keep the first row for the name of the things that are going to like being filled automatically. For example, first name and then last name and maybe title of the person, doctor, professor or so on. And then for sure email, that's important, right? So I'm going to write only two People, you can write 320 or how many that you like. Okay, so I will save it. Now I go to Word file, just a new file. You go to mailings and then select recipients and use an existing list. And then I choose the Excel file that I created a minute ago. Then this window says first row of data contains columns headers. Keep it ticked. Okay, because it means like I start from row two, three, four, so on for replacing the the variables in your template, right? Now I need an invitation letter. I have a prepared text here. It's not a real conference. Just writing it here. So here, here I want the title. So you click the place that you want to put the automatic text. If you want to insert something here, then you click here. I'm putting here. So I want dear Dr. Hamid Bagarafai, right? So the first thing I need is the title, then first name, then last name. You go from insert merge fields here automatically has all the names in the first row, right? So I put title, one space, first name, one space, last name. You might have other things that you want to put maybe here or here, depending on the, on the text that you want. Here is very simple. Dear Dr. Hamed Bangawafari, hope this email finds you well. We are organizing this conference. We want you to join. If you are going to join, please let us know by this date. And that's simple. Now you can see the preview here, preview result. And it replaced automatically the title with doctor, the first name with Hamid, last name with Baha Ghaffari. And if you have more fields, you can use these arrows to see like, what about the next one, for example. Dear Professor Gomi TV, and then that's that's the end because we have only two okay and then you can hide it again that's fine and when you are happy you can finish and send it so finish and merge then send email messages to email this is the the fields of your template right and automatically it goes with the email it's easy to understand and then the title of the email that is fine and you can choose to send to all of the recipients or only one of them or from row this to this right i will send for all of them okay and as soon as you press okay if you are connected to internet it is going to send them so make sure you are you're sure that everything is fine because you don't want to send an invitation email to a professor and then it has a different name or whatever. And maybe you can send to only one row and then check if it is sent correctly, then send for the rest. So you see that it automatically sent if you open your Outlook in the sent items, you see that it's sent to both of them. And then just to be sure, I can go to the Gmail of the channel to see what I received. This is the email, so you see the title is here. 
Dear Professor Gomi TV, blah 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 blah. That's how it works. Very simple. 